Well, you know how she tends We're to almost at go. <laughs> Ten seconds. Happy trials. Let's have a crash check. Six. Five. Let's go to black. Three. In order for some rides to work, you must consciously think that you are riding them. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and if you say my name three times into a mirror, Scott Bayo will appear and kick you in the shins. Oh, it's just the two of us? Please don't kill me. <laughs> and our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Jack's bald caps and hairless knickknacks. Because if you actually shaved your hair off, you might find something weird under there. <laughs> okay, it's time. Kicking things off, assassinate gate. Okay, I've had it. Every scandal since Watergate is called something or other gate. Monica gate, nipple gate, stripper gate, Henry Louis Gates gate. Enough! It's time to throw down the gauntlet, people! Are you with me? Suppose I start a task force to remove the suffix gate from all new writing before it gets published. If I stupidly get caught up in my own scandal, what would it be called? Abnegate gate gate, abrogate gate gate, expurgate gate gate, or circumnavigate gate gate. To expurgate is to edit out offensive material before it gets published. So ironically, in my effort to expurgate gates, my pathetic scandal would be called expurgate gate gate. And you know, it would have something to do with hookers, but who the hell would leak it to the public? Well, I'd have to investigate. Here we have Doogie Frankenstein, MD. If Dr. Frankenstein's monster had spoken very casually, how might he have addressed the doctor with his first words? Theo, what's up? Hey, Victor, nice lab coat. You call this dump a dungeon, Willie? Or yo, Boris, thanks for the brain. The doctor from Mary Shelley's classic novel was named Victor Frankenstein. Another little-known fact, Bram Stoker's famous vampire is actually named Count Derek Dracula. Next up, Original Sin City, and it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven words, and for each one, tell me if it's a word from the Garden of Eden story in the Bible, a Las Vegas nightclub, or both. If it's from the Garden of Eden story, press the square button. If it's a Vegas club, press your circle button. If it's both, press the X button. Each one right gets you 300 apples. Each one wrong costs you 300 plus table service fees. And you've only got 30 seconds. Okay, let's move. Pure. Eve. Vanity. Flush. Naked. Sweat. Rain. I took some of Adam's ribs to perform general ribbing on you. They say Vegas is Sin City, but I think it'd be difficult for the devil to tempt somebody with an apple in Vegas. He'd have to wait in line for an hour to get it off the buffet. It's time for Misters of the Universe. Which mister has a missus? Mr. Clean, Mr. Big, Mr. Echo, or Mr. T? No, no, I'll get this. Although the others are bachelors, Sex in the City's Mr. Big has been married a couple of times, most recently to Carrie Bradshaw. Also married was Mr. Rogers. You never saw his wife on the show, but he always insisted that we just missed her. <laughs> Mr. Clean is unattached, despite the fact that the ladies love his muscles and bald head. <laughs> just like how everyone will love this bald cap from Jack's Bald Caps and Hairless Knickknacks. Finally, a workable solution for those cursed with a full head of hair. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a tidy 4,000 bucks. There you go. Where's the bomb girl? Rock my world girl. Ooh, yeah. Here's one for you. Getting whacked in F sharp.
If the rival mob on The Sopranos consisted of an all-female group with extremely low voices, what would they be called? The Basso Profundo family? The Baritone Gang? The Contralto Mob? Or the Counter Tenors? Stop serenading me with your nonsense. Smart people choose this. Contraltos are female singers with the lowest voices. Like me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm totally a dude. Round one is complete. And you've got a pretty nice score. It's a shame there's nobody here to share it with. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. All right, let's get back to it. Open wide for... My housewife is a fake. I've been watching these Real Housewives shows on Bravo. I've noticed something about the opening credits of these shows, though. The cast is always holding some kind of fruit. The Real Housewives of Orange County are holding oranges. The Real Housewives of New York are holding apples. The Atlanta Housewives are holding peaches. But during the opening credits of the Real Housewives of New Jersey, the Housewives aren't holding anything. WTF! Considering the state fruit of New Jersey, what should they be holding? Bananas and leopard print tops? Strawberries and garbage bags? Kiwis and Sopranos DVDs? Or blueberries and spray tan? Forget about it. Oh, honestly. New Jersey's state fruit is the blueberry. And their state animal is the snooky. Coming up, the stuff you find under the bleachers. It's time for us to see what kind of trash somebody sent in today. Looking through your trash bag, what's it say about you? Funky trash. Okay, what do we have here? We've got some dry cleaning slips for a Robinson 42 uniform, a subway map of Brooklyn dated 1958, and some old postcards of Ebbets Field. Which professional baseball franchise sent in this garbage? Kansas City Royals, Los Angeles Dodgers, Boston Red Sox. Jackie Robinson crossed the color barrier for the Brooklyn Dodgers at Ebbets Field in 1947. 11 years later, the franchise moved to Los Angeles. The Dodgers moved to L.A. to sell their screenplay, but ended up just waiting tables and doing a couple of weird fetish films. Poor oh, chickens picking out a mate. Oh. Guess I'll marry eight. Take a good look at Priceless Art. I have a coupon for that. Suppose Campbell's produces a line of tomato soups commemorating pop artist Andy Warhol. Based on his philosophy on fame, what might the expiration date read? Consume one second after opening, best within 15 minutes of purchase, stays frozen for 24 hours, or reheat leftovers for a lifetime. Watch your time! Ugh, I'm gonna need about as long to get over that answer. Let me show you something. Andy Warhol is known for his statement, in the future, everyone will be world famous for 15 minutes. And now everybody just says 15 minutes of fame. Which, as we know now, is really a silly statement, considering YouTube's maximum upload limit is 10 minutes. This one's called Beakers in the Hood. If the Bloods and Crips took litmus tests and their pH levels matched their colors, where would the Crips end up on the scale? Highly alkaline, mother Highly acidic, mother Neutral, mother Or greasy, mother No, but I do think that's the national slogan of Switzerland. Here's what a right answer looks like. Alkaline materials turn litmus paper blue, and the Crips color is blue. I actually learned some complicated gang hand symbols. Ow! My fingers! Mother f***er! Hold me, never let me go. And my <laughs> And now, you simpletons could never understand my food. As a deep and complex individual, I prefer to eat food that reflects that. <laughs> 
Which of these complex foods contains complex sugars? An orange painting its feelings? A forlorn glass of milk? Pasta reading poetry about death? Or a chocolate bar contemplating existence? <laughs> Carbohydrate such as the starch found in pasta is a complex sugar. And trust me, pasta reading poetry is pretty moving. I nearly broke into tears when Penne get on stage and read his poem, Penne for my thoughts. Oh, the part about the Italian sausage was gut-wrenching. <laughs> Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, Press the X button. 4,000 big ones if you're right, but say goodbye to 4,000 if you're wrong. And don't forget, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. If you're going to travel through time, travel right. I've seen one version of your future. Hopefully you can change it. Good luck. That's the game! Not bad, not great, but not bad. I actually scribbled down a number on this piece of paper before the game started, just guessing what I thought you'd get. Let's see if I was close. Hmm, apparently I just doodled a picture of a dog peeing on a laser gun. That's weird. You don't know Jack! Good game, everyone. Donnie, what's next? Okay, give me a piece if you'd like to engage in another tourniquet of wins. Hi, Anthony Matterhorn here for Blood Co., the Tri-County's number one resource for your commercial blood needs. And right now, we got more blood than we know what to do with. We got in buckets, baggies, pots, and pans. You name it, it's filled with blood. It's a bloody mess at Blood Co. And I don't mean in a British way. I mean in a there's stuff that was once circulating through a living thing all over the place way. Having a party? Need a transfusion? Come to Blood Co. We don't ask questions. Need lamb's blood? We probably have it. We don't really keep track of that sort of thing. Blood Co. We got blood. Why don't you know where it came from? Blood Co. When you need blood, you gotta go to Blood Co. Blood Co. <laughs> Did you know that 12 cups of raw spinach has as much sodium as an order of french fries at McDonald's? Did you say as much sodium as french fries? And that 54 cups of spinach has just as many calories? As many calories as french fries? Makes you think twice about eating spinach, doesn't it? Yes. Spinach. Is it really strong to the finish? Vote no on Proposition 14H and keep spinach and other vegetables out of our schools. Great party, Sarah. Oh, thanks. I've got to ask, though, what's with the mysterious box? Oh, that's a mysterious box from Mysterious Boxes Incorporated. What's in it? Honestly, I've always been a little too afraid to open it, but it makes a wonderful conversation piece. Do you mind if I open it? Well, why not? I've already led a pretty full life. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh. Well, that's kind of... Yeah! Mysterious Boxes Incorporated, there will come a time when one will be delivered to you. Hey, buddy. Hey, Jordan. Happy birthday. I know I usually forget to buy you anything, but this year I got you something from the cloud registry. The cloud registry? What's that? I got a cloud named after you. Oh. And it comes with a certificate of authentication that I printed out on my dot matrix printer. So which cloud is mine? What's that? 
Which cloud is named after me? Oh, uh, that one. The one that sort of looks like a race car? Sure. Steve, did you just make this up because you forgot to get me something for my birthday? No, it's totally a real thing. Listen to this announcer. The cloud registry, totally a real thing. You just did that by cupping your mouth in your hands. Well, happy birthday, buddy. Gotta go. Bye. Hey, get your friend a gift from the cloud registry. It's really a real thing. Because nine months is just too long to wait for a hug. And now, greatest moments in driving history. Oh man, I love this song. If only there were a way to let drivers around me know that I love this song. Ah, too bad you can't hear anything from outside these stupid rolled up windows. Wait a minute, what if I... This has been another installment of Race Moments in Driving History.